الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. This young man, he's never seen me before. He's just looking at me. Go, wow, mashallah, he can talk. He's reading. حبيبي, read with me. صح? Read with me. لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم. Sina, they translated slumber. You know what sina in our understanding? You know when you're dozing off, you're not asleep, but you're just like in another world? That is sina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't sleep, doesn't even have that little tiny feeling that is usually it comes before sleeping. That's Ayatul Kursi. We said, Ya'uduhu wa la ya'uduhu hifduhuma la ya'ujizu. It's not difficult to maintain and supervise everything. The best time ever in your life, not time actually, the best person amongst us is the one who is under the strict supervision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like you are in urgent care. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is following you with every little thing you do. Every time you deviate, boom, He slaps you. He makes you sick, He gives you a problem, He makes you worry. He punishes you right away. These are the best of people. The worst are the one who break the rule over and over and sin over and over. And it seems like life is good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not caring. And nobody is catching them and they feel like they are happy. These guys, punishment is waiting in hell. And that is the worst thing that you could ever have. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly loves you, He keeps on punishing you and punishing you until you die zero sins and all you have is enjoyment. And if He doesn't, then you die and you still have some sins to deal with and you're dealt with it in the grave or in the hellfire. So if you are good, pay attention then. If you are good, you pray in your five times, you're nice and obedient to your parents, you don't cuss and curse, you're staying away from haram, you're doing the basics, and you're minding your own business, no backbiting and such, and you haven't too much problems, that's a sign Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. And the worst one is if you are not doing that, and your life is good. That is the worst ever. It's either you're gonna get it in hell, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is gonna slap you with something you cannot or you wish that you are not created. It's like I want to slap you like this, and I keep saving it and saving it and saving it and saving it, and one time I just give you a knockout. Look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts it in surah, two surahs, but uh, one surah al-an'am. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَضَرَّعُونَ حَتَّى What's uh, سهل فَلَوْلَا إِذْ جَاءَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا تَضَرَّعُوا لا يا زلمي That's أعراف تيس ينطحك يلا يا شيكاغو ولكن قست قلوبهم وزين لهم الشيطان ما كانوا يعملون فلما نسوا look فلما نسوا when they forgot يعني we sent so many we brought so many prophets and we sent messengers to people 
and we tested them with good things and bad things. When they forgot, when they forgot the commands that do good and stay away from bad, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did what? فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ We open the doors of goodness for them. Their life is good. Their grades are good. Their family is good. They're wealthy. They're healthy. They got my, everything is going good. حَتَّى إِذَا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى إِذَا فَرِحُوا بِمَا أُوتُوا When they are in complete happiness, boom! أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بَغْتَةً فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْلِسُونَ Then we take him and seize them all of a sudden and they're speechless, lifeless. Don't you mess with the religion. You're talking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are good and having problems, it's good. If you are not good and not having problems, it's horrible. All the time, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. And he said, I'm so merciful to my servant, I even hesitate taking his spirit. That's how much he loves you. But he deals with you the way the doctor deals with you. I'll give you an example. Shuas Makinti, Kerim, Sah? Kerim. Kareem has a stomach ache. He goes to a good doctor. The good doctor says, stay away from this and this and this and this, don't eat it. He likes it too much, but he tells him, don't eat it. If you want to cure that, don't eat it. So he treated him harshly in our understanding because he's depriving him from things he likes. Versus a doctor, who checks him and he said, eat anything you want, don't worry. And then the disease is getting worse and worse and worse and boom, he dies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he sees you have a disease, if he loves you, what does he do? He treats you. And how does he treat you? The problem that you have is sins. He treats you with punishments to erase your sins. When I say punishments, I mean <coughs> hardship. Yani, Halla Saja has a test tomorrow. And she did not study the way she should. She's so worried about not making a good grade. Watch my lips. A good grade. Not passing grade like some people think. She wants an A. The worry that she is in is a punishment. But we don't think about it like that. We think this is the way life is. It's not. The stick of a thorn, if you just open that door and somebody push the door and hit your foot just a little bit and you don't care, that's a punishment. Everything that bothers you is a punishment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishes you with all of those things. So you pay for your sins in this life instead of going to hell. And that's the love that we call from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He keeps doing it until you die sinless. So if you're good, have fun and enjoy it, even if you have problems. And if you're not good and you're having problems, then recheck yourself. Refresh your memories on bad things you did. Say astaghfirullah, fix it, and things will be good. But if you think that things are going good for you, you do what you want to do downstairs and upstairs and in the games and in the bathroom and everything, and you're not getting caught and you get away with it, Habib, 
nothing passes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It passes me, it passes Brother Khalil, it passes Brother Diwan, everyone. But when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's there, it's recorded, and you will get it. It might be now, it might be tomorrow, it might be even worse cases, the day of judgment. So don't think you're not washed. Don't think you're not washed. You're always washed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Luqman, who doesn't know Luqman? Ya bunay, O oh my son, innaha in taku mithqala habbatin min khardal, something as small as a tiny seed, fatakun fi sakhra, inside a rock, inside, not on top, aw fi samawat, anywhere in the seven heavens, Awfil ard in the seven earths. Yet to be Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring it. I said, look, you did that. And he will account you. Be careful. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa tuhulik.